Um, okay. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wala Kitab Al-Muttaqeen Wa Salatu Wa Salam Alayhi Ya Sayyid Al-Anbiya Al-Bur Mursaleen Wa Hatam Al-Nabiyin Wa Ala Alihi Wa As Sahabihi Ajma'in Amma Ba'd Fa'awzu Billahi Min Al-Shaytuan Al-Rajim Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Inna Allah Wa Malaikatuhu Yasallun Ala Al-Nabiyya Ayyuhu Al-Lazina Amanu Sallu Alayhi Wa Sallimu Taslima Allahumma Sallim Wa Sallim Mubarak Ala Sayyidina Muhammad Al-Fatihi Nama Ublik Wa Al-Hayatimi Nama Sallam الناس الحق بالحق والحادي إلى سرات المستقيم صلى الله عليه وآله وصحابه حق قدره ومداره اللزيم Okay, welcome again to the Gardens of Paradise the Majlis of Zikr, Zikr Allah and the Circus of Knowledge um, As I said previously it's okay to make notes <coughs> while I'm delivering this talk as this will prove beneficial for you um, in remembering what I said afterwards and also you can recall this by your mobile phones also uh, so continuing on the subject of the heart um, and the subject of the shayukh so zikr love the heart um, and you know many of the sayings and much of the knowledge what I'm trying to share with you is from what I have heard from sitting in the Sohba of the Oliye Gamalin. The great Shayukh has said that every heart is covered by 70,000 veils. Now, to attain the true light of guidance, the true light of guidance and Allah's manifestations, you have to attempt to remove these veils from your heart and how do you do this by constant dhikr of Allah so constant dhikr of Allah and salawat al nabi durood al salam upon sayyidina wa rasul Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then slowly and steadily the veils begin to be removed and subhanallah as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, O believers, make remembrance of Allah abundantly. Ya ayyuhallazina amaruz gurullah zikrun kathira. That remember Allah abundantly, with much remembrance, all the time. So, and with the help of a spiritual guide and a spiritual murshid, a spiritual master, this becomes important and incumbent upon a murid, upon a person that he is guided on the straight path with the correct practices of Allah's majlis and Allah's methods of zikr, zikrullah so Allah has bestowed you know Allah bestows knowledge upon his wali, upon his friend and each to his own capacity and each to his own maqam you know, there are many awliya Allah, subhanAllah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows with them with much, much blessings and great ilm. And as Allah says in the Quran, above every knower is a great knower. So we may understand that, okay, one person may have so much knowledge, but remember that there is somebody else who has greater knowledge. But subhanAllah, you know, we must understand that we ourselves as weak individuals you know we are limited in our knowledge and understanding but these wali Allah these awliya Allah they are unlimited in their knowledge so we are limited but the awliya Allah the wali Allah they are unlimited in their knowledge and the knowledge of marifatullah hikmatullah what they receive direct from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the divine presence so you know we don't you know we don't know or understand the stations of the only Allah so you know we're not qualified to to comment on them all we know is subhanallah that as it says many many times in the Holy Quran where Allah describes and mentions his friends as the only Allah the Wali Allah that Allah has bestowed great blessings upon them has given them much knowledge yeah and that is enough for us subhanallah for us to 
to have them as our guides you know and so the hearts you know while while our hearts are busy in the dunya their hearts are busy in the remembrance of Allah that's all it comes down to that our hearts may be busy in the dunya but their hearts are always busy in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and while our hearts are dusted with the desires of this dunya their hearts are polished with the purification of Allah's pure names and Allah's remembrance sallallahu alaihi wasallam and subhanahu wa ta'ala and sayyidina rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam there's another verse in the holy quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the prophet is closer to the believers and then their own selves and you know many awliya kamilin have written on the explanation of this verse that the prophet is closer to the believers than they are to their own souls to their own selves the prophet has more right over you than you have over yourselves and this closeness closeness is not by body but closeness this is by the heart so the heart has to be close or attain the closeness and nearness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to the heart of sayyidina rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam but the hearts have to be pure the hearts have to be pure the problem today is our hearts many hearts have been polluted so when a heart is polluted how can that heart become close and near to the pure creation sayyidina rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know this is something that we have to do that we have to cleanse our hearts continuously constantly with allah's remembrance allah's zikr and when a heart is released from the clutches of the dunya and then breaks through these obstacles and the barriers of its own ego only then the heart enters the realm of reality to see the truth and what's the truth that's when the heart sees haqiqat muhammadiya the haqiqat muhammadiya the truth of sayyidina rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and hadra sayyidina ghos bakh sheikh abdul qadir al jilani radiyallahu anhu said that do not depend to see the truth with your external eyes but if you want to see the truth then see the truth with your internal eye what's the internal eye the eye of the heart polish your hearts away from the dust of the dunya polish your hearts with the zikr of allah and zikr of rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam for your heart for the eye of the heart to see the truth of muhammad rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the saints of allah so the wali allah the saints of allah they focus on the heart because the heart is the center of the body which contains secrets and powers that can only be unveiled with the help of a spiritual master and a complete a complete sheikh a murshid a guide so let me give you the example the example is like you know if you have a room which is concealed with the light that has no opening you know there's much light in the room but there's no opening that light will only remain concealed within the room so but if a door or a window is opened and then the light shines forth then the light can come out so when the window when an entrance is opened then the window or door is open and then the light shines forth when the light illuminates from the inside to the outward and then alhamdulillah and then the light of guidance is shown 
So the powers of the heart are, are, are actually concealed within the heart of the disciple, within the heart of the murid. But he doesn't know it. He doesn't always know it. So, alhamdulillah, this is the first step. To constantly polish your hearts with the remembrance of Allah, with the zikrullah and zikr of Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Polish away the dust which gathers upon the heart and do not depend to see the truth with your external eyes because these eyes were only made for the dunya to see the dunya it is the internal eye which can only see the truth the reality of haqiqat the muhammadiyah now unfortunately you know the majority of people including murids you know including you know, murids of any other sheikh or shayukh can never unblock or unveil the secrets of their heart because of the biggest problem of today, which is their big egos. Now, every heart, every heart is controlled by his nafs. So every body, every human is within his heart. His heart is controlled by his ego, by his nafs. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this on, in the Holy Quran about nafs amara, nafs lawama, and nafs mutmaina. I'm not going to go into this, but I'm just going to mention that this ego, ego is the biggest disease within a human. Now, every disciple and murid that thinks, you know, nowadays, murids think that that you know he knows better than the other person you know every person think that he knows better you know does not want to listen to anybody else listens to himself every murid thinks that he's better or greater than the other murid you know and this happens not in in just murids but this happens in normal people in a normal daily life that a person always thinks that he's better than the next person this ego is a disease that proclaims itself as Lord. So it proclaims itself that it's the Lord. And because it's the Lord, it makes the person follow the ego. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly describes this in the Holy Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that do you see him who takes for his Lord his own desire, his own passions? So a person who takes his nafs, his desire, his passion, his ego as his Lord, then he is clearly misguided. And unfortunately, the majority of people today are misguided. Even those who claim to be murids of shayukh, many, many people themselves do not even know that their egos have, have overtaken them. This is a major disease in today's society in the 21st century. And how do you overthrow this? How do you overcome this? You overcome this by constantly sitting and learning from your sheikh in his suhba. But the sheikh has to be an accomplished master, a spiritual master, an accomplished sheikh al tariqat. And then you will see slowly by following the practices of the majlis of zikr and the awrad and the vazifa what the shaykh gives you and if you abide to this in obedience and sincerity then slowly and steadily the heart will become the heart will start to come into control into control the ego the ego wants to control you and is able to suppress the powers of the heart. So you will never be able to release these powers of the heart and control the ego until you pass the 10 steps of discipleship. So what are the 10 steps of discipleship? Well, that's quite detailed, but each one of the 10 steps is like a new level of security clearance. Now, let me give you this example. Now, for certain 
government departments or services, you will require security clearance. But there's other less important departments or jobs where you don't need security clearance. You know, you work, you know, people work normally, you know, through these less important departments without the knowledge without the knowledge of knowing who works upstairs. So they work downstairs in the normal department without any knowledge or knowing who works upstairs. Now these high level government jobs, they require high levels of security clearance. And applicants, any applicant that comes and applies, applicants must be examined carefully and thoroughly before given high level clearance everything is checked everything from your family history to your criminal record if there's any sins and crime in your record of deeds and anything else all this information affects the level of clearance now this is the same in spirituality the levels of spirituality and discipleship you know when the disciple has achieved and passed these 10 levels these 10 levels of discipleship then he is cleared to access classified material classified information or the secrets contained within and then when he is given security clearance and access to this classified information, only then he will be given the six powers of the heart. These six powers of the heart, these are found in every human being, in every heart. But like I said before, you know, these are pressurized and suppressed by the ego. The ego does not allow these powers to be unveiled these powers to be unleashed because the ego has suppressed them and what do people do today people are following their ego as their lord so they will never even have any knowledge of the secrets contained within the heart but a murshid a great master of spirituality a master of wisdom and hikmah a great sheikh al tariqah he will help the, the, the disciple, the murid, help him through the 10 steps of discipleship. Going through each stage and giving him, giving him security clearance from each level, each stage to the next stage, to the next stage. Until he completes and fulfills the 10 levels, the 10 steps of discipleship. Only then, only then. The disciple will be on a magang where he can control his ego. And when he controls his ego, and then subhanAllah, then the secrets, the, se the six powers of the heart are unleashed and unveiled. These, this is the secret behind the remembrance of Allah of the heart and the powers contained within the heart. Subhanallah, every murshid, every accomplished sheikh knows the levels of his murid. And he will help and support the murid physically and spiritually and morally. And make sure that his character is reformed outwardly and inwardly with the practices with the daily practices and the daily awrad and vazifa given to him. And this can take a whole lifetime. This can take many, many years. But subhanAllah, once a person achieves the maqam of completing the 10 steps of discipleship is only when he reaches the station of attaining the six powers of the heart. I'll explain the six powers of the heart in our next Mayful Zikr and the Circles of Knowledge, inshallah, at the moment, just now. I think this is enough, you know, and the last, you know, the last thought here is that subhanAllah, you know, we are all marids of a tariqah, 
ਪਵਿੱਤਰੀ ਕਾ ਸਿਲਸਲਾ ਹੈ ਆਲੀਆ ਖਵਾਜ ਗਾਨੀਆ ਨਕਸ਼ਬੰਦੀਆ ਮੁਜੱਦਦੀ ਅਸਲਮੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਗਿਵਨ ਦ ਟੀਚਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਤਰੀਕਾ ਵਿਚ ਵਰ ਸੈਟ ਐਸ ਦ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਸਵਫ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲਸ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਪਾਥ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਸਟਿਕ ਟੂ ਥੋਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਟਿਕ ਟੂ ਦ ਟੀਚਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਆਵਰ ਸ਼ੇਖ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਦ ਔਰਾਦ ਆਫ ਵਜ਼ੀਫਾ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਡੇਲੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟਿਸਸ ਗਿਵਨ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਐਸ ਲੌਂਗ ਐਸ ਯੂ ਸਿਟ in the sohba of an accomplished spiritual master a spiritual sheikh a master of hikma wisdom and subhanallah ilm then only then then that great sheikh the accomplished sheikh can help you with fighting and defeating your ego and attaining the maqam of the 10 steps of discipleship and then insha allah attaining the six powers of the heart allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all amr the tawfiq and istikama upon what i have said wa akhira dawana in alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin